tinder. We're gonna get reclaimed wood. Oh wow, that's gonna burn in a thousand calories? I don't think so. Let's just harvest ten of them. It'll take two hours. Yeah, I'm definitely not heading back to the car. It's tempting, but no. And hey, a backpack. So now we can at least go start a fire if we need to. A candy bar. Quite hungry, quite thirsty. This character is awfully needy when it comes to food. And another great thing, just a minor complaint, I wish it wouldn't close out the menu whenever I eat. Just let it stay open until I'm ready to close it. So I'll get my thirst down, have a candy bar, and then we'll head back out. My cold should be down now. Yep. However, it sounds awfully windy outside. Yeah. Okay, real quick. Uh, let's, our condition is a 93%. Probably I got a little bit of frostbite or something. I don't really know. Basic boots. Basic gloves. Not better because... Of course I've got mittens on. Down vest. That's 0 .8, 0 0.4. Better than what I had on, I think. A ski jacket. Not very good. Some mittens. These are still much better. Okay. So I probably shouldn't go out in the wind like this, but we gotta keep moving. We gotta keep pressing on. So I'm gonna have to find 50 pounds of food per day so I don't starve to death. wonder if I can kill a wolf, how much food they have, some sardines. I would never eat sardines unless I was absolutely starving. Hey, a metal container. Some matches in it. Thin wool sweater. Okay. Hopefully I can actually wear that. Question is, what is the thin wool sweater? It's not any better than what I've got on. Most of the stuff that I'm finding is just not as good as my stuff. I'm sure that my clothes will wear out over time, but how long do you have to survive? Like, what do you have to go through before their quality deteriorates so much that this other stuff I'm finding is, is worthwhile? And we'll just stick to the road. If I was suicidal, we would go traipsing through the mountains to our right. Until we get ate by a bear or something. Yeah, I've I have found like two or three sewing kits actually. I haven't bothered to check them out. I imagine the game is going to say, you need thread. You need clothing patches. Okay. Trunk lock. Do I not have the tools for this? Hang on. So I guess the simple tools won't work here. Simple tool usable for crafting, for basic crafting and repair, no. Gotta find something better. Trusty patches. Never trust trusty patches. Okay. Get out of here. Really? There's trees in the road? How long has it been since people have been up here? Those trees have like 30 years of growth on them. Oh. Because this is a dead end. That is amazing. Well then. I guess I took the wrong path to take on this highway, didn't I? We've got a long run ahead of us. 
probably going to freeze to death out here. I don't see anything off in the horizon except Jackrabbit Island, which I'm not going to run to. It, it's, it's the simple choices in lives, folk. lives, folks, that will doom you. I went left when I should have went right. Climb a tree? I don't think so. You can climb a tree. It'll only take a thousand calories. Could go kill a wolf and then gut it and crawl inside for warmth. Pretty sure I've seen something like that happen in a movie at some point in time. Okay. So, before we go any further, I think I've checked this one and this one. I don't know why I didn't bother to check these other houses before we left, but hey, we're back. And now we've got some stuff to explore. Can warm up in here. What is this? A first aid kit. Looks like this has been here. Yeah. Old water, you can always tell. It's got scabies in it, but you know what? It's better than dying of dehydration. Nothing in there. It's 11 o'clock in the afternoon. I think we're going to rest for just one hour. That'll get my warmth built back up, I hope. Eat his heart to gain wolf powers. If we eat enough of them, we we'll some reclaimed wood. Take you. If we eat enough wolf hearts, we can actually turn into a wolf. Join the pack and never return to society. Is there anything like bear traps in this game that you can find in place? Is this another flare? I need to test out the flares before I die, too. Cotton long underwear, 51% condition. Some jeans. Basic denim, denim work jeans. Well, if there's rabbit traps, I might have to figure out how to make one. Is it going to be like string and a rock? Something like that. The next, uh, just a word on flares, you have to click and hold to light them, okay. And click and hold to throw them. The next time we find a new place to explore, like a new building to enter and everything, I'm probably going to check out the sewing options, see just how many pieces of clothing I can reclaim, if I can patch up any of my stuff. There's that car. We're halfway back. Way back to our doom, probably. There's another island way out there. I think it's got a cabin on it, too. Could go island hopping. See what they have to offer us. I have a feeling that this lumber yard up ahead, though, is where we're gonna die. Be loaded down with a pack of wolves. Shut up, Slaxer. You're not helping. If I do get ate by a bear, it's all your fault. Yeah, I can see for miles. I'm kind of surprised. Once the snow starts, though, that, that'll be that. How's my cold doing? Uh, not too bad, actually, for as far as we've ran. I was kind of expecting it to be a little bit higher by now. I'm half tempted to just climb, see if I can climb these slopes, too, and see what's on the other side. Alright. Can I climb them? 
I need to know. There's some wooden posts up there. What is this, a side road? I was hoping that we could get kind of a lookout up here. There's just so many damn trees. Do we have any Canadians in here? Could you guys give me some advice on how to survive up here? Pretty sure you guys be running around in shorts and this, just laughing. Okay. So there's a building up ahead. Can't tell if that's something or just a tree back there. At least I know that there's a little bit of civilization up here. The cold's still not doing that bad. That little bit extra clothing that we put on probably helping significantly. Poutine. I've never had poutine. In fact, I don't even honestly know what it is. There's a wolf down there. What's a poutine? Isn't that something to do with chicken? Or am I completely wrong on that? Well, don't tell me it's going to be nighttime soon. What time is it? It's only 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I guess we've got some storm clouds moving in. But I would kill. What happens if you light a flare in a building and throw it? I'm guessing that you can't burn buildings down. Like, what if I wanted to use one of these buildings for for warmth? Sewing kit, and chocolate bar, fries, gravy, and cheese curds. I don't like the word curds for some reason. It just it sounds disgusting. Okay, I want to see this stuff. Repair. Repair basic gloves. Repair my jeans. It'll take one cloth. Take 30 minutes. It'll repair 30%. However, before I do any of that, all of my bars are going crazy right now. Let's see what I can switch to. Those jeans aren't any any better. Cotton long underwear. Mine still has the crotch in it. So everything I'm wearing is already the best. We just need to repair it. And shred some of this other stuff. Repair the jeans. Hopefully this works. Now, harvest, yes, we're going to start ripping up some of this clothing into cloth, probably spend the rest of the day doing that, the ski jacket, which didn't seem like it was ever going to be a viable option, mittens, I'm not wearing those. Slaxer, your picture doesn't work for me. Why? It's all busted. And I just now noticed that the chat is not centered at all. Why is it so messed up? Good gravy. fix that just a little bit okay there now chat is actually kind of visible I have to see what this poutine is if it'll ever load on my computer 
No, is that corn in there? Because I don't know how I feel about that. I'm not a big vegetable fan. Even though those fries look delicious. Okay, wool socks will keep the basic boots, gives leather. Don't know what I would need leather for at this point. Cheese curds. Why can't it just be cheese? Why does it have to be curds? Like, aren't curds the chunky things that are scraped off? I'm starving because I haven't been paying attention. Come on, chat. You, you, you gotta be a friendly window here. There we go. Okay. Summit soda. I guess we'll just eat all of the food that I've got. I ripped up a pair of pants that I didn't need. I hope. I'm gonna wait to drink anything until I've ate. Grand President Putin is all beef. Energy bar. Do they make pepper jack cheese curds? Or are cheese curds just a generic thing? Like, they're just literally called cheese curds. Okay. It is 6.15. I don't remember what time the sun goes down, but we're going to be dumb and try to press on. We've hopefully got a few hours of sunlight left before we have to crash somewhere. Whenever night falls, we'll crash, maybe do a little bit more repairing on our clothing, and then prepare to die. However, what is that up there? There's something at the base of the rocks. It's either going to be a sleeping bear or a piece of rock. Silent clearing. And what do you know, it's just rocks that were visually weird. Okay. Oh nice, you actually pick up speed running downhill. Can I tumble head first? It's probably a good way to escape from animals, maybe. Doubt I, hey, wow, a couple of houses, actually. This is where we'll bunk up for the night. Fatty, chunky cheese. Does not sound appealing at all. A propane tank. See, there is absolutely no reason these houses. A Canadian flag. We have found our salvation. If there is a Canadian here, we'll be fine. They should have hockey on. Nope, nobody's home. I guess we're doomed. Okay, newspaper. Even though I haven't really had a reason to start a fire, I'm sure I will at some point. More newspaper. A fire log. Yes. I forgot my first rule of checking houses. Just to check the houses, make sure they're safe. Thin wool sweater. <laughs> um, I don't know what I put in there, but I want my accelerant back. I'm not going to use this house as a safe house. So when are you going to start that LP, Avak? Have you already started recording it, or is that something... Is that something that you're just going to think about starting down the road? Ooh, some painkillers. Whenever we're dying from the cold, we can pop those and in about 15 minutes forget everything along with the hypothermia. The toilet? I can take water out of the toilet? Why do I think that's going to be a bad idea? Someone talk me out of taking water out of the toilet. Nice. 
basic gloves. There can never be enough Cataclysm Let's Plays. Some more simple tools, which I probably don't need. So I'm pretty sure the ones that I've got will never be wore out. Antiseptic, a bottle of hydrogen peroxide. Useful for bleaching your hair or clearing wounds. I would hope it's from the tank. Pinnacle Peaches. Let's say, I don't know where my guy is going to take it from. Is he going to take it from the bowl? Maybe somebody is pissed in there. They just didn't flush it or something. I mean, if it's yellow, let it mellow. Let it brown. If it's brown, flush it down. Does that rule fly out here? Waste not, want not. Curdling turds. That's a mental image I didn't really want. Okay. We got some fur firewood. At some point, I imagine I'm going to become encumbered. A fireplace. Well, you know, it is going to be nighttime soon. I've got plenty of peaches. My fatigue is quite high. I think what we'll do is we'll go check out this last house next door. And then we'll come back to this place, most likely. Actually, there's a couple houses around here. I wonder if this game has the Northern Lights. Coastal Town Site. Ooh, some beef jerky. See, that's the type of stuff I need to be finding. I don't need clothes. I don't need firewood. All I need right now is food. Water purification tablets. A packet of water purification tablets can help prevent dysentery. Was it red? I've not even paid attention. Oh yeah, I am. Okay, we'll have to fix that here in a minute. I'm sure that's hurting my fatigue. If this house has a fireplace, then we won't go back. Even though I, I do need to go back to the other house at some point in order to most likely get water from it. Some pork and beans. Hello, Syrov. Welcome to the long, dark stream where I try to stay alive as best I can. Hey, there's pancakes on the wall. Venison raw, fresh from a deer. Cook it to eat safely. We could eat steak tonight. Yeah, I know. Okay, so before we do anything else, we're going to rip up some of these clothes. I have no idea if ripping up these clothes will give me, will remove any weight from my pack or if, like, the one cloth also weighs exactly the same. I haven't read any of the lore around the apocalypse. Is it good? They never really explained what happened last time I was playing. Is it cool scarf? Um, I've already got one, okay. We'll tear down one of these scrap tools for some scrap metal, even though I have no idea how we're actually disassembling them. Thin wool sweater. I've already got one of those. So what do you do? Lose weight that you can carry if you're fatigued, I guess. Keep that. Thin wool sweater. We'll switch over to that one, so let's tear this one up. The other one that we, we're exhausted now, probably going to pass out soon. And we have cotton long underwear and wool long underwear, question is. Oh yeah, I can only carry 16 kilograms, holy crap, I'm about ready to pass out. Okay. That's 1.9 and 1C. Where are you? And we'll put the thin wool sweater on. So what I need to do now is eat a little bit of food and then go to bed. Not even going to worry about starting a fire right now. We can do all of that in the morning. In fact, hang on. Where is it? I'm going to put the venison back in the freezer. It 
shouldn't matter. <laughs> it's so cold here, it shouldn't matter where the venison goes, but... I don't trust this game. Okay, and it's pitch black. I can't see anything. It's a couch. Is this the bed? Yes, it is. Okay, we will sleep all the way. We'll sleep for seven hours. See you later, Grimoth. I was trying to um, subconsciously control you via your dreams while you were sleeping. I, I don't know if it worked or not. We'll find out when you assassinate the president. Have sweet dreams. So, it's now morning time. Take this. I'm hungry and thirsty, of course, because that's how we always wake up. Cotton socks. Do I have cotton socks? Thin cotton socks. Not very warm and useless when wet, but better than nothing. If we don't, some jeans. Okay, I'm back up to being able to hold 39 kilograms. However, I'm going to have to... I, I, I'm in my basic problem where I hoard everything. So how much weight did that free up? That didn't free up anything. Eat some peaches. Tell us more about your plump centric dreams, Avak. I want all the details. All of the juicy details you can give. And pork and beans. Somebody said I could possibly get food poisoning from these, so let's down them. So is it possible to actually escape from this place, guys? Or am I more or less just hoarding supplies trying to stay alive? Cotton long underwear, accelerant, I'll leave the underwear. Like, cause if I'm just trying to stay alive, then I need to make a, a drop point, a drop house at some point. Basic wool hat, put you back. What I should probably do is drop some of this firewood, or even start a fire with it. So, wood matches, tinder plug, reclaimed wood. Let's use a fire log. Fire log duration. Be two hours. That makes me sad that we're stuck here. Got tons of matches, an absolutely sick amount of matches. It sounds like there's a really bad storm going on outside. See, I, hopefully they add so that eventually at some point you can piece together like a radio and call for help. Or you can find your way out somehow. I mean, some way to survive. I want to look outside though. Because if it's just to survive for as long as you can, eh, it's just really hard wind blowing. Which I, I don't think we'll go out there and mess around in it. See, this is where a good book would come in handy. If I had a tea kettle, we could make some tea. We could basically just enjoy and relax for the day. However... Why don't we, let's see, fuel, let's cook that venison. Venison cooked. I don't have any snow, wait, do I? I guess we get snow from somewhere, that's fine. I'm glad it doesn't make me go out and collect snow. So, unsafe two liters of water added to our inventory. How much water can I boil? Let's boil that. The coziest sleep you'll ever have until you catch on fire. So, potable water, two liters. <sighs> a 
There's really not anything I need to do. I've got a day or two supply of food and drink if I need it. Take you, take some more matches. What a pleasant family. Totally looks like they're from the 70s though. So I do like this house. Take all the firewood. We're a little bit overweight. I gotta drop something. What don't I need? Sewing kit. Drop a couple of those. Drop all of the matches. And... See what way is a whole bunch. I know that some of the wood does. Yeah, maybe it is a nuclear winter. There's got to be something going on. Oh yeah, I completely forgot about the flat screen TVs. They're just Canadians, so they look like they're from the 70s. Hmm doesn't burn for long. Let's drop some of this reclaimed wood. It's easy enough to get more. And we're gonna head out. We'll check these other houses real quick just for food. Well, me crashing was a result of the magnetic storm. That's some type of weird shelter don't need that don't need any more matches just need food I don't even really need water at this point since I should be able to start enough fires and I've got the potable water tablets too Oh, ooh, nice, peanut butter. One jar of peanut butter would be enough to keep me going for at least two or three days. Stacy's Grape Soda. I'm glad it had her name on it. I'm going to drink it anyways. Hopefully she's not too upset. Didn't Canada do something with their strategic maple reserves not too long ago? Like a couple of years ago, maybe. A fleece sweater. Take that. I'm already a little bit overweight, unfortunately. So let's check this clothing out. We'll drop the cotton long underwear. Pretty sure the socks are not... Uh, nope, the cotton socks aren't better because we can repair the wool ones. A fleece sweater... Point four. Drop that. Drop the jeanses. Okay. Actually, I don't want any more soda. I don't want anything except food. So we're going to set out on another long hike here in a little bit. I don't want to check all these drawers, but I'm going to. Obsessive compulsively. What's up, Sockmund? We need Father Hulk here, Slaxer. He could save us. Basic wool hat, no. Are you looking? Yeah, the poll, it was a complete tie. I tried to open democracy up into my life and it failed me. Okay, there's a wolf over there. I'm gonna risk it. If he comes after us, maybe we'll be able to, to kill him or something. We'll sneak. Okay, where's the entrance to this place? There we go. Whew. So this place should have plenty of food, right? 
Empty cans, matches, ooh, some peaches. Some more peaches, let's just eat it right here on the spot. I may go out there and just try to kill the wolf. Just because. Whether we win or we lose, I don't really care at this point. Got a pretty good grasp of the game, and if it's all just about survival, soda, soda. I mean, I don't mind trying to survive for as long as I possibly can, but I do do want a little bit of an end goal. And that locker is locked. There's probably a gun in there. All of the good things are locked up. And that's one thing I haven't been able to find is some beef jerky. Take all of the beef jerky. What we got in here? Probably all soda. What I would give for a single beer at this point. Or a car that works. Maybe we can find some tools in here. Nope. So what kind of craft? Fishing tackle? No. Hook? Yes. Let's use the simple tools for that. Better not fail this. We got three hooks. A snare. I don't have any guts. I need to go kill a wolf. So, if we're going to make fishing fishing tackle and everything, I'm going to have to kill something. A radio that doesn't work, of course. Because, hey, we can go fishing. I have no idea how fishing works in this game. It's probably just a simple drop your line and see what you can reel in. I wouldn't expect it to... Hey, a storm lantern. There we go. Let's equip that. I'm already a little bit overweight. God dang it. I never thought I would complain about having too much stuff. So, in the doorway here, let's let's drop Let's see. There's got to be something that's taking up all my weight. The fur firewood is 2 pounds thing is, I actually want to keep the firewood. Because it burns for a lot longer than that other junk that we've got. Reclaimed wood. Scrap metal weighs a lot. For now, I'm just going to drop all that. You can use your numbered keys. They're hard-coded to useful things. I know, it's because I hang on to absolutely everything, because you never know... You never know. Okay, let's drink some water. That'll cut down the weight a little bit. Like, honestly, my guy right now, there's no telling how long he could he could survive for on just the stuff he has. We'll refill this. And how do I how do I light this? Start fire, no. Windproof storm lantern with mechanical igniter burns kerosene. Okay, there we go. That's pretty nifty. We go out, could go out a back door if we wanted to escape. And not have to deal with the wolves, but like I said, we're gonna go we're gonna go tackle a wolf here in a minute. Probably get my arms ripped off and my throat ripped out. Don't need any more cloth. Don't need any more soda. I've got enough soda that I could become a diabetic. A fire barrel. Hmm. Good to know. What's this? All I want is a lock picking tool, some type of screwdriver. A pry bar, there we go. Now maybe I can get into some of that lock stuff. Nope. No scrap metal for me. Thank you very much. I'm a little bit encumbered, of course. Let's see. Slowly pry the locker open. And it was locked for no reason. There's absolutely nothing in it. Why can't you fuel it with 
molten newspapers. No, I couldn't use it. I, I don't need any more. Okay, so who's ready to go die to a pack of wolves? I know I am. I'm a little bit encumbered, but it's because I'm getting fatigued. Uh, yeah, I guess that the wolves already left. Okay. You know, Wolf, I didn't want to fight you and rip your guts out to make my fishing lines anyways. Yeah, they were ate by the rabid deer. Okay. Pretty much all I'm going to do then today... I've got more than enough food in these houses and everything. Um, I'll set the lantern there on the bed because what's the worst that could happen? We're going to sleep until nighttime. Just about five hours here. I need to get my fatigue down. That way I can keep carrying things. So that's down. Uh, let's equip you. Oh, and yeah, there's no fuel, of course. So, let's take you. I already, I already blew through all of my fuel. I needed a nightlight while I slept. I was scared. The big bad wolves could have come to get me. I want to find a wolf to fight. Like I say, at this point, I could probably survive for another two or three hours of stream time. Just on the food in these houses alone. But I've never actually gotten to a fight where I knew what was going on. Good God, look at all these houses around here. All of them have a day's worth of food in them, most likely. There's a carcass out there on the ice. Look, when you want to find a wolf, you can't. They're nowhere to be found. All, let's, okay. Let's go ahead. Okay, yeah. You heard that I was looking for you, didn't you? Okay. How many times do I have to do this? Using blood. Definitely going to die. Use a bandage. The wolf is completely running away. He'll be back soon, though. I can almost guarantee it. Antibiotics will use you. He tore a huge chunk out of my leg. He's antiseptic. Survived, but just barely. My condition is 18. Oh, yeah, I know. And I don't know how to actually improve my condition unless it's just something that improves over time. Okay. See, he's scared of me. He knows who the alpha alpha male is now. Yeah, you better run. I was going to use your guts to make a fishing line. However, I want to check something. Does my condition improve while we sleep? Another corpse in the exact same location as the other houses. He's got a... Did I hear a wolf in here? I thought I heard a wolf come inside. Okay. We're gonna sleep for nine hours. I'll wake up completely starving. Will they run away and die? My condition is 19%, so I improved my condition. A whopping 1% over 9 hours. I guess wounds in this game are actually really, really serious. There's no magical health kit that you can just slap on and repair yourself. So what we're going to do is eat our food and go back to sleep until daytime. I don't like these strange sounds in the dark. Okay. Let's go ahead and just rest until 7 o'clock in the morning.
What happens if you get food poisoning? Do you just throw up all the time? Throw up everywhere? Shit and piss out your butt? Is that what happens? Condition's up to 33% now. I want a gun. Take that. Yeah, I don't know how they would spoil when it's like sub-zero everywhere we go. Even indoors, it's, it's obviously not going to have, you know, the wind in here, so it's not going to have the wind chill factor, but it's still going to be pretty damn cold. Okay. We're good. Let's head out. Yeah, wolf mechanics in this game, just left-click your mouse button as long and as hard as you can. And then right click once it gets full, I guess. The bad thing is, it's so confusing trying to figure it out while you're struggling for your life. Okay. Is that the dead wolf? Is this the wolf that I fought? Say, if he ran out here and died on the ice, we'll harvest him for some guts. I think it is. Wolf carcass, 1% frozen. Okay, it is. Cool. Let's get his guts. Two units. Use our hatchet. Wow, why is it so cold out here? Oh, I know why. Probably because that damn wolf shredded all of my clothing, too, huh? So I would have to do repairs on all of that stuff. Okay. Now it's starting to kind of be a little bit more like a survival simulator. Let me look. All of my stuff... It's... Pretty damaged, I guess. A lot more damaged than it was. Oh. That did not repair it very much at all. Or wait, maybe it did repair it? I don't I don't quite know. Maybe I'm failing to repair it. There we go. Up to ninety-nine. Repair my jeans. We'll spend all day, I guess, repairing stuff here. Hopefully those guts that I harvested don't go bad. It sounded like my guy just crapped himself. And yeah, out of leather. I completely failed to repair my boots. You know, I didn't like those boots anyways, as a matter of fact. That's good to know, Kyron. I do like how it cycles through them automatically for you. I can't repair my hatchet. Can't repair my boots. Now, can my stuff be completely destroyed too? Like, could I have lost entire pieces of clothing there and not even know it? Pretty sure that that's the best we're gonna get. I'm not gonna waste any more time repairing. I wanna go back out to that wolf carcass and harvest a few more pieces from him, even though he's probably gonna be frozen solid soon. Drink a can of cancer. And I guess we're good to go. I still want to see a snowstorm, too. I haven't seen that yet. Okay. Never played Worm Online. Had so many people tell me about it. Just never got around to it. So how frozen are you? Now it's 95% frozen. We can harvest hides from it. Life is futile. Um, yeah, I don't want any wolf meat. I've got the room for it, but... 
think I'll pass for now. So, there's a, a deer or an elk out there. I think the last thing I'm going to do here is simply go make a fishing line. We'll run out to one of those fishing huts, and I'm probably going to end this game. Like I said, I don't want to spend the next two to three hours of my life playing this. What is that? Uh, another propane tank. We'll take the back door this time. Uh, this is the highway. So, I need to make a line. I said, I need to make, not a snare, because I'm not going to go game hunting. We'll make this. So do I fish with simply a line and a hook? I don't need a pole or anything like that. I'm just going to tie the line around my hand, or what? Fishing tackle. And we'll make another one. Okay. We're good now. We're good to go fishing and then die while we fish. It'll be a peaceful death. Provided we don't get tore apart by another wolf because if I bump into another one we're, we're for sure dead yeah, and I'm not getting cold at all now that I've repaired all my stuff so head out to one of these fishing huts there's a wolf all the way out there's a couple wolves all the way out there they're watching and waiting they're setting up a perimeter around the town in order to, to pounce on us the moment we move I don't know if there's bait or not. I've got food. We could put some beef jerky on it. Fishes love teriyaki jerky, don't they? Yep, still not getting cold. In fact, I could stay out here all day long, it looks like. The air temperature is negative 9 degrees Celsius and the wind chill is negative 9. Yes, beef jerky. Hey, I used to go salmon hunting with just corn. I'm sure they would love pork and beans, too. Fish orcas. So, hours to fish. Let's go ahead and fish for three hours. I probably also could have started a fire behind me. We get a rainbow trout. Small saltwater fish named for its iridescence. Keep you. Coho salmon, formidable west coast fish, grows to a good size. And another rainbow trout. Okay. A little bit encumbered. In fact, a lot of bit encumbered. We're dying of thirst. Now, now that the fishing hole is cleared here, I should be able to just drink water out of it. Yeah, I like how you don't need any bait or anything. I've had to break just about two to three inches of ice with a hatchet, and even that sucks. If you don't break it, the cows won't know where to go drink. Okay, so all that fishing really made me tired. We're going to go to one of these houses and retire for the night. And I'll probably end the video. I'm encumbered, so I can't really run that quick. And I'm not dropping any of my stuff. I'm only encumbered because I'm so tired. just leave a trail of corn and they'll follow it all the way all the way up into your barbecue grill if if only I could get them to actually debone and descale themselves life would be perfect uh, 
We've done a good job surviving so far, I think. We fought off one wolf. We found plenty of supplies. We made it to this coastal town. If I was able to find a rifle, we could probably have killed one of those deer out there. Which would have enough meat to feed me for, honestly, weeks in real life. Probably not that long in the game, though. Uh, let's see, we'll use a fir wood. Scare the bones right out of them. I also like how if you fail to start a fire, you don't lose the piece of wood. You probably just lose the match in the tinder. That's right, dude, get mad. That's two failed rows, rolls in a row. Okay. We're encumbered, we're warm, and this is where we're going to retire. We've survived for three days, two hours, and 21 minutes, and if I really wanted to push it, we could probably survive for another seven or eight before we even left this cozy little village. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be streaming any more games tonight. I don't even know what time it is. It's five o'clock in the morning. Nah, I think I'm done streaming for the day. I'm going to wind down, get ready for bed. Uh, I do have to go back to work tonight. I was supposed to go tonight, but I still felt pretty sick. My whole body aches and is sore. Hopefully I'll feel better tonight when I wake up. And I will definitely be streaming again in three days. Nope, not even Pagel. I'm going to load up Final Fantasy and grind until I'm ready to pass out, guys. No Pagel. I'm tired of talking. I want to go have some of those little smokies that I put on the stove earlier earlier that have been soaking in delicious barbecue sauce for the past few hours. I could stream Final Fantasy if you guys want to watch. I'm probably not going to be doing much talking. I'll talk on and off, but I'll partake in chat with you guys. Yeah, if you stick around in the room, I'm not going to leave it. I'll be here. So, have a good night, those of you that are leaving, and everyone else who's going to stick around for Pixel Fantasy 14 and a little bit of chat every now and then. I'll see ya. Slaxer, what did you make? I have to, I have to have this on the stream before, before I end it. Whatever it is, is it another tit with a dick growing out of it? My slow internet. This might take 10 minutes. If I ended the stream, I could see it in 10 seconds. The suspense is killing me. I'll see you guys later. This is going to take forever.